Hi, hi, Peyton. How are you? Fine, thanks. And yourself? I'm doing really good. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm doing great. I changed my air filter this morning. Uh -huh. You know, like the uh -huh. air filter. Oh. Um, it was like an hour before this, and it was a complete disaster. So I'm like uh -huh. recovering from but I did it, so I'm like really proud of that. So I started music when I was like 12 years old, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and I got into it through musical theater. Mm -hmm. So I did, like a few runs of Les Mis, mm -hmm. um, which is such an amazing play. Like I'm sure, mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure mm -hmm. a lot of people mm -hmm. have. Um, and it's funny because I, I didn't understand like the storyline of it because when you're that young and a play is that like intense. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just had the time of my life. I, I loved it. Uh -huh. um, I, I loved getting my hair and makeup done. Like, uh -huh. I was just, yeah, it was super fun. Uh -huh. And then after that, I was like, whoa, this could be something really cool. Like, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, so, wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, I did a lot of like the acting for a few, probably a good portion of like my growing up. Uh -huh. um, and I was doing like a lot of horror movies or like horror shows um so, like a lot of like really dramatic stuff like people people just wanted to cast me in that and i was okay oh. with it yeah I, was like, I thought i was like maybe i'm gonna do like comedy and then oh. everything was like dramas that i was like you know getting in and yeah that was that was super fun mm -hmm. uh, but then you know i kind of wanted to push a little more into music because music. yeah like always my mm -hmm. passion and yes. all throughout yes. the time that I was doing like acting I of course was writing um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I actually I put out my first song at 12 years old wow it, it, no it's it's so bad it's so bad but it's uh -huh. so funny. <laughs> yeah it's so funny looking back on it uh -huh. um, yeah and so Ever since then, I've just been doing music, and I love it. Yes, because I was uh, like this research on YouTube and Spotify, and I believe their music is really cool. It's really amazing, <laughs> and I check also the, the comments on the videos, and they, they are really cool. They are expecting new songs from you, and I think your music is really cool. Thank you so, so much. Yes, yes. Thank yeah, I'm. I'm very lucky with um support i yeah they're they're uh, and when, what is your inspiration for for the songs usually something that happened in your life on or, or something you watch on tv maybe a movie yeah for sure so, so when i was younger a lot of it um because i'm a very like observant person like i uh -huh. I love to people watch. I like I'll pick up on everything. Mm -hmm. Um. So when I was younger, a lot of like my writing inspo came from like the outside world. Oh. Um, uh -huh. You know, it was like walking down the street or. Uh -huh. yeah. Um. But as I, like as I got older, it started shifting from like my own personal stuff that I go through. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. So that. that that was like a cool transition though to go from like i still take a lot of inspiration from like mm -hmm. the outside world mm -hmm. um like one of my songs bad and the bad boys is it's it's not like a joke song but it's uh, like, it's, it's really cool it's, it's so you. catchy it's thank straight you. to the point yeah i i wrote it about a uh, a dream that i had and like i was really unserious about the song like i just like went into the studio and was uh -huh. like i i had a I had a funny dream like let's write a song about it uh -huh. and I I didn't think anything of it because it's like bad or bad boys uh -huh. and, uh -huh. yeah somehow it became like my top song but it just goes to show that you know writing inspo can really come from um, anywhere but a lot oh, okay, okay. Of, yeah a lot of times it's my own personal stuff that I go through yes because uh, you're talking about bar and bad boys and I I I saw that that song uh, reached more than 100,000 streams on Spotify now. Yeah, we're, um, we're at, I think it's over like 600,000 right now. And then, wow. uh, yeah, it was really cool. Insane. So, yes. Yes, super cool. But um, yes. on, on YouTube, it tapped into a lot of like the anime um, community. So mm -hmm. it has like 
millions from that, mm -hmm. which is super cool because that was normally like previous something previously like an avenue that my music hadn't really been in mm -hmm. but like it's it's like the coolest community and I love seeing like all the edits and that kind of stuff. Yeah, just because I saw that song on uh, I believe Power Trip. That's oh. another song that on other channels with animation they use that song of yours and put it into videos and the response is really awesome and I watched uh, like a couple hours ago and I think it is really amazing. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, it is. yeah it's like, it's so cool when people make videos of it because I'm like half of it I could never do like some of the videos that people make I'm like you're so cool like I could never do that mm -hmm. yes, yes. <laughs> from, from the ones that I've like that have been previously released I of course love bad and it's just just because of like the story of it where it was so like like I, I really didn't think twice about it like, I just went into the studio and like oh a funny like a song that I thought was funny mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, no one's gonna know, like, I, like, I don't know. Um, wow. So, you know, the unseriousness of it is funny, but then you kind of like dive deeper and you're like, wait, this kind of has like a little bit of a hidden meaning. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I have been in the studio like all this year and I wrapped up an EP. And mm -hmm. yeah, I'm so excited for it. It's like, it's some of my favorite songs and so i think that's what i'm like looking forward to most is putting out um this project that i've been working on how is one day in peyton's life regularly how is one day of yours what do you usually like, do like not including music or including music uh, um if you can both that would be okay. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. day in my life uh, uh, yeah. uh, yes, yes. it's i don't know it, it's pretty it's I like to think it's cool, but half the time it's like not cool. Um, it's just kind of, uh -huh. it's kind of normal. Um, you know, I I wake up, uh -huh. I I make my coffee, and mm -hmm. I like it a specific mm -hmm. way, and I like it in a specific glass with a glass straw because I don't I don't like I don't like drinking coffee without a straw, and I don't like using plastic straws. Uh -huh. um, so I'm I'm really picky about that. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> then uh, I. Around that time, I normally I normally start being like, oh my gosh, I need to get this done, I need to get that done. Um, uh -huh. And I wake up, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, right? Like you wake up, I wake up at like 7 a.m. and I'm like, uh -huh. my brain is like, and so then I start hounding everyone else being like, hey, can we do this? And they're like, yeah, they're like, chill. Oh, yeah. Um, I have like a bagel or a piece of toast, love that. Um, oh, uh -huh. Yeah, then then like my day starts. Like if I'm not doing music, I'm I'm doing music. Um, um if I, okay. I like uh -huh. can't, I can't think about the last time that I didn't do music in a day. Mm -hmm. Um I'm probably working on like school stuff or I'm filming. Um mm -hmm. yeah, or I'm cleaning. I love to clean. Oh, oh to to keep everything in its place and yes. I like like if my pillows aren't fluffed, I get I get rolled. Um, <laughs> just a little weird. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, love to clean. Um, but music, music uh -huh. is like, always like different. So, like sometimes I'm at the studio, sometimes I'm in meetings, sometimes I'm rehearsing. Um, wow. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of it's kind of all over the place, but. I love it. People probably think it's boring, but I like it. Do you have any favorite instrument to play? Um, I love piano. I that's how I like learned how to sing and write. Mm -hmm. Um, a keyboard, and I actually still use the same keyboard because I refuse to give it like get rid of it. Oh. Because yeah, it's just, it's just been through so much with me. I got I gotta keep it. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah. That thing, yeah, that thing has been through it. Um, but I also, I love, I'm like really trying to get better at bass. Because uh, oh. I, I love, I love people who play like electric guitar and bass. Like if I see, a lot of my mm -hmm. favorite artists do that. And I always just think it's the coolest thing. So, wow. yeah, that's what I'm wow. next is bass. Yes, isn't it? 
Uh, piano sounds really, I think it's really classy and I believe it is really difficult to play, no? Well, for me, that's uh, my thoughts. Yeah, it's funny because a lot of like uh, guitar players or people who learn guitar or bass before like moving to piano um, think that piano is harder and then people who play piano, at least speaking for myself, uh -huh. uh, guitar is like electric guitar and bass. Bass is a little easier for me, but electric guitar in particular is super tough because I think I'm used to um, the piano like chords being a little more spread out than uh, mm -hmm. electric. So yeah. Yeah, I wrapped like a whole EP. Um, uh -huh. We filmed like three live videos and we're gearing up to start to start releasing um, January and then um, shows, doing doing a bunch of shows. So yeah, I'm really excited. Oh yes, but only in LA, no? Pardon me? Around in LA. Um, um, yes, we'll, we'll do definitely, like I definitely want to do shows in LA, um, but also like travel like go go outside of LA and um, oh wow yeah so I'm, I'm excited um what's the coolest place you have ever been with your shows with your music or the most interesting experience uh -huh. um probably the UK I went to like 15 different cities there um wow on, yeah on like a three or four week tour <laughs> thank you um, nice. in previous that I had never traveled to like Europe or UK anywhere. Wow! Um, and it was it was the coolest experience of my life. It was really really neat. We would like to make some quick questions. We call them quickies by Madison. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's starting for um, you have to choose Taylor Swift or Olivia Rodrigo. Wait, I have to choose between like I don't get one. Oh, this is really tough. Because I love both of them, like I really love both of them. Um, I'm gonna say right now Taylor Swift, but uh -huh. I love I love both of them. I love both. Excellent choices, and you you choose you choose well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, do you have any favorite beach in the U.S.? Um, I love Malibu. I'm a I'm a simple I'm a simple person. I'm a little mm -hmm. scared of the ocean because mm -hmm. I'm like. I, I love the beach, mm -hmm. but I don't know like what's under the water, and I I don't like that I don't know what's under like my feet, you know, because I can, I don't know, mm -hmm. and I don't eat I don't eat seafood, so I kind of have a little bit of like, mm -hmm. and I just kind of have a little bit of beef, but um, yeah, I would say I would say Malibu. What would you say to your younger version like uh, five years ago? A message you would like to say to your younger self to pay some. Um, Mm -hmm. To just chill out. To like, I think a lot. I think a lot, a lot of like my younger self was such in like a rush for like success and a rush to like reach a place that you know I I'm still aiming to reach. Um, and I felt a lot of like anxiety or pressure when I was like 14, being like, oh, time's running out. I'm like, you're 14 years old. Mm -hmm. like, Like you haven't even graduated high school. Like, calm down. Um, <laughs> but, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, right. But uh -huh, I, also, yes. I like I love that about myself because it really uh, it really pushes me. Like mm -hmm. I I feel like I'm very I'm a very driven and like motivated person because I'm so passionate about music. Mm -hmm. what yes, I, I can feel it. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I think when you're and I see it like even with like sports players or other musicians mm -hmm. like. When you're so passionate about something, it's kind of like, you know, you can't see a life without it. And that's a scary, that's a little bit of a scary thought. Um, uh huh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you know what, I think, I think it would be, I think it would be that. Um, yeah, I'd rather be hated for who I am mm -hmm. um, than loved for like who I'm not. Oh. Um, a strong, strong quote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Which is like, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's super true because I think a lot of times we have this like vision of who we want somebody, like who we want people to think that we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of times we live in like, we live in that, which is not truly like your authentic self. So it's like, if somebody doesn't like me, like I'm cool with that. Like I, you know, you can, I'd rather you like not like me and me like be like actually like real than ah. you love me and 
me be like a clone of like actually who I am. Dying to see, I'm kind of cheating with this question because I've been dying to see uh, Priscilla, I think it's called, um, the oh. new, like, movie. Mm -hmm. And a couple of my friends have seen it and are like, you have to go see it. So I also want to watch right? it. Huh? Right? Yes, so yes, even yes. Though, yeah, even though I haven't seen it, like I already know it's going to be like my top favorite. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yes, yes. And uh, mm -hmm. that happened to me also. Yes. Yeah. And um, did you have any favorite book? Right um. Now? Yeah. Totally. So I I read a lot of like I'm I mean it's not like I'm cracking a book open a night like every night. I'm not gonna uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but but uh -huh. I, I do like to I like to read a lot of like they're not like self help books like you know. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like to read like a lot of um, there's a, this book called Contagious and it's like the psychology of people. Um, oh wow! Yeah, so I'm going to be walking down the street and like psychoanalyzing people by their behavior. Um, but so that's that's one of my books called Contagious that I love. Um, another classic is 1984 by George um, Orwell. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Forced to read that in school which at the time I was not happy about because who wants to read like in school uh, but <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah uh -huh. it sucked when you had to do that but yes, now, yes. looking back yeah looking back I'm like such an incredible book I love it um, um how many days did you took to to get this done like the recording of the video um the video we oh. shot uh one day so um oh, it was really? yeah oh. only a few like a few hours sorry the lighting is really weird here um <laughs> wow. yeah a few hours i would say like five six six hours five hours um oh yeah, wow. We wow it was pretty quick quick, quick yeah. enough yeah, yeah super super quick um yeah i love music videos they're super fun it's to just keep going just just keep going and you know it's okay it's okay to fail it's okay to fail but it's not okay to stop and quit so that is my message oh do i have interview sorry i totally answered that question wrong um, <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're probably like what um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um i yeah I, I definitely should i definitely should and do you have any plans today um yeah so i just i just got back home i had like three meeting so i was like zipping around la um, wow and then i decided to change my air filter and then i did it all only to realize that i did it wrong so <laughs> i had to like read it. Um, oh, uh -huh. yeah so now i have some music stuff to do and then i call wow. it working on my laptop i call it like be booping so then i'm gonna uh -huh. like be boop on my laptop um uh, okay yeah and yeah that's that's kind of it that nah, that's really cool Cool. That's really amazing, and again, I appreciate so much for you to taking this. Of course. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>